is up guys, we're going to be doing another deck profile again, uh, this one is for crawlers and I've been wanting to do this deck profile for a long time, I've had this deck ever since Circuit Break came out which is the same set that they were actually released in, sadly this deck didn't get any support through later sets until Cybernetic Horizon where we actually got the support of two cards, a spell and a trap. Uh, we're going to be going over that in this deck profile, but uh, this is something I find really fun and actually has uh, quite a bit of uh, potential actually going into the uh, particular format here. Starting off with monsters, we're playing three Crawler Spine. Now the Crawlers actually are all flip effect monsters, we're getting flip effects off. So its flip effect is target one monster on the field, destroy that target. So basically one of the main cards here, because it also has a 2100 uh, defense, so your opponent's actually going to not expect that at all. Most of the time it's going to survive, and as a result, you just get to destroy one of your opponent's monsters. Now, all crawler monsters have the same effect of being destroyed uh, while face up on the field by a card effect, specifically your opponent's, uh, which allows you to special summon two crawler monsters with different names from your deck in face down defense position. So overall, the crawlers never die out, they'll always keep respawning each other. Next, we have three copies of uh, Crawler Axon. This is uh, the flip effect of targeting one spell on the field, destroy it. So, a uh, great card to just deal with your opponent's um, back row. Uh, if they have any, of course, um, but aside from that, it is also an 1800 defense that's uh, definitely worth playing. Uh, together with Spine, they make up uh, pretty much the um, main destruction of your opponent's cards. The last of the three ofs, we're playing uh, three copies of Crawler Glyle. Uh, this card's just really amazing. Its flip effect allows you to special summon a Crawler monster from your hand or graveyard in face-up attack position or face-down defense position, which means... You can actually bring back your crawler link monsters if you actually have them in the graveyard. The only thing is you can only bring them back in attack position, but overall it helps you extend your link plays or potentially create a really, really powerful board that's difficult for your opponent to actually deal with. Alright, so for two orbs, we're playing uh, two copies of Crawler Receptor. Its uh, flip effect is you can add any Crawler monster from your deck to your hand. Aside from that, all its other effects are the exact same as everything else, but it is a searcher card. I choose to play two of it because overall, uh, we don't really need to search out our Crawlers that quick, so uh, two is enough. We're also playing two Crawler Dendrites. This allows us to send a Crawler monster from our deck to the graveyard as the flip effect. Um... Overall, it's just to help you get more resources in your graveyard because to a certain extent, it does actually help with crawlers. Uh, we'll get to why with the specific uh, spells and traps here. Do apologize slightly for the glare. Um, there's a window on this side, so there's a bit of sunlight coming in. Uh, we're playing two copies of uh, Crawler Ranvier. Ranvier's flip effect is target up to two Crawler monsters from your graveyard, add them to your hand. Uh, just a great way to recycle your cards that's been used in the graveyard. And uh, overall, it's not too bad at all of a card to play. I only play two of them. Of course, I am trying to maximize out as many of the Crawler monsters as possible, but overall, uh, two is definitely more than enough. That's basically it for the monsters. We're not playing any other monsters here, no hand traps whatsoever. It's mostly just crawlers because they all share the same effect of being able to special summon themselves uh, over and over again uh, with different names, of course, from your deck. Moving on to spells, we're playing the new card, uh, World Legacy Survivor. So this card actually came out in Cybernetic Horizon. Its effect is excavate the top five cards of your deck. If you do, add an excavated crawler or World Legacy card from your hand, or to your hand, sorry. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Otherwise, shuffle all excavated cards into the deck. So even if you don't get cards that are ideal for the graveyard, just return them to the deck. Really amazing card to actually just search out what you need. Uh, for the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except link monsters, which is no big deal because this deck is a link focused deck. And you can only activate this card once per turn, but that's not too big of a deal considering what we're actually being able to search out. Interestingly enough, I don't see too many people playing multiple copies of this, but we're playing three copies of World Legacy in Shadow. 
Uh, it's the field spell. All crawler monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, special summoner level 2 or lower insect monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. Uh, that's a you can effect, so it's optional, of course. But when your flip monster is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster, you can send that opponent's monster to the graveyard. Uh, basically, just a great way to deal with your opponent's uh, big monsters because this card just forces it to send to the graveyard without targeting it. So it's definitely a really great card, and most of the time, your opponent won't bother reading this card until they actually realize it themselves. Of course, it is technically your responsibility to actually tell them what the card does, but overall, they will usually just brush it off and not really care about it. Uh, so overall, it's up to them. They even forget about it. We're playing one copy of Moon Mirror Shield simply to deal with really big monsters on the board. Uh, it's typically see a lot of Blue Eyes players still. So overall, uh, this is definitely a deck that can use Moon Mirror Shield to actually deal with the bigger monsters. We're playing two copies of Scapegoat. Scapegoat could potentially actually get hit in the next ban list, but overall, uh, it's definitely a really great card here. I'm playing two because we actually can easily just bring out more Crawler monsters, but the fact that um, it brings out Earth tokens, you can actually go for a lot of Link monsters that are Earth type, and um, one of the Crawler Link monsters actually requires two Earth monsters, so it definitely works out well with uh, two Scapegoat here. But overall, we don't need to play three simply because it fills up the whole board and that's not enough space for our other crawler monsters as well. So, playing two for now. However, we are playing two copies of Worm Bait. So, this card's a really underestimated card. No one actually knows what it does because, uh, again, like, who other, what other decks actually are insect decks out there that's actually, um, relevant to this particular format. I wouldn't even say crawlers are relevant because no one actually knows what it does until they actually face it. So this effect is if you control an insect monster, special summon two worm tokens, uh, insect earth level one, attack and defense of zero. You cannot normal special summon monsters that are level three or four uh, the turn you activate this card. But that obviously doesn't matter because all your crawlers are level twos and all your link monsters don't have levels. For the last spell, we're just playing one Dark Hole. You can play Raigeki if you want, but overall, um, it's up to you ultimately what you want to play here. So for the trap cards, we're playing three of the new card. We're playing World Legacy's Mind Meld. So this card's actually really amazing. It has two effects, one grave effect, one field effect. So its effect is when an opponent's monster activates its effect while you control a crawler monster, the activated effect is changed and it becomes return one face-up monster your opponent controls to the hand. Meaning, your opponent's monster's card effect now has to force them to actually bounce up one of your face-up crawlers to the hand. Now, if your crawler monsters are actually bounced back to your hand, or rather if they leave the field because of an opponent's card effect, they'll trigger off. Meaning, you actually get to special summon two crawler monsters from your deck in face down defense. So overall, a uh, really great card to manipulate your opponent. Uh, its second effect is the grave effect. So you can banish this card from the graveyard, target one link once on the field, special summon one crawler from your hand or deck or graveyard to the zone that target points to. It has to be in face down defense, but you can only use this effect once per turn and only once that turn. All right, so for the next card, we're playing Three copies of World Legacy Pawns. Uh, this card was obviously one of the first trap cards that came out. You can target one face down monster, you control, change it to face up attack or defense. Or its second effect is you can shuffle one crawler monster from your graveyard into your main deck, target one face up monster you control, change it to face down defense position. You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. So basically, if you choose to do the flip up, then you can't do the effect to flip down. If you can use the effect to flip down, you can't use the effect to flip up. You're going to use the one that flips up because the one that flips down requires you to shuffle a crawler monster from your graveyard into your deck, which is going to be really costly. And uh, you do mostly want them in your graveyard. But overall, uh, if the situation comes, that we actually will have to obviously use it. But uh, this is the reason why we're playing three copies of World Legacy Pawns. It's actually a really good card that your opponent actually will be uh, constantly targeting this. Uh, this thing where uh, we have World Legacy in Shadow and we have World Legacy Pawns. And most of the time, your opponent will always want to destroy Pawns because it's a significantly more 
a frightening card to actually deal with and uh, they usually ignore shadows but overall uh, both cards interchange and uh, whether your opponent destroys one or the other uh, you always benefit off the remaining one uh, we need a bit of defense in this deck we're playing two copies of storming mirror force sometimes we're just put in a really bad situation and uh, bouncing your opponent's cards back to their hand after all their hard work to bring it out uh, is definitely really rewarding for us we're also playing one copy of Back to the Front as well as two copies of Call of the Haunted. Uh, I felt this actually works really well because um, if your opponent tries to destroy your Call of the Haunted, you can chain it and bring back one of your crawler monsters. Instantly they get destroyed and their effects trigger off, which uh, is definitely a really powerful one. Otherwise, you can use Back to the Front, target a monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, and of course, uh, some of your crawlers actually have really big defenses, so... Uh, definitely a card worth playing. Uh, you could just take this out and put in a third copy of Call of the Haunted since it actually has more versatility in this. But overall, uh, completely up to you and what you want to do. It's interchangeable. Um, I'm just playing both because it gives a little more variety here. This will bring it out in attack position. This gives it in defense. Um, I like a bit of defensive plays, so back to the front is definitely a card that I still uh, choose to play at least one of. For the last trap, we're playing two copies of Lost Wind. Uh, I feel that this card's actually really worth playing because we have no other way to stop our opponent's card effects aside from Mind Meld. And putting a card like Lost Wind that can actually come back from the graveyard as well definitely helps out this deck a lot. Alright, so let's actually move on to the extra deck and finish things off. We're playing two X Crawler Quaylark. This card's really amazing, requires two Crawler Monsters, of course. Um, if it leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, and if it actually gets destroyed by battle as well this time, um, you can target two Crawler Monsters with different names in your graveyard, special summon them in face down defense. And uh, based on the number of Crawler Monsters you have on the field, or on the board, you can actually use these continuous effects. Uh, if you have two crawler monsters on the board, which is pretty easy to accomplish, including himself, uh, all monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense, and that's all monsters, not just crawler monsters. If you have four crawler monsters on the field, your opponent's cards and effects cannot activate during the battle phase, so that's definitely a great card because uh, it just stops out traps and spells and everything, even monster effects. If you have six crawler monsters on the board which is going to be a pretty difficult accomplishment but uh it is possible your monsters can attack directly so what this means is if you actually have six crawlers on the board and you enter the battle phase you win the game because if you have six all your monsters can attack your opponent directly because of that you also activate the four effect meaning your opponent can't actually respond to you and if you have, uh, since you have two, all your crawler monsters or roller, all your monsters on the field also have 300 attack and defense. Uh, pretty much a great way to secure the game here. We're also playing two copies of uh, X Crawler Neurogos. Uh, requires two insect monsters and again, uh, same effect as Quaylark when being destroyed by battle or if it leaves the field. Uh, but otherwise, any monsters pointing to it will actually gain 300 attack and defense. And if they have actually battle your opponent's monsters, any battle damage they inflict to your opponent is doubled. It is a 1900, so uh, with the boost of the field spell plus this as well, you'll be surprised at how big your actual link monsters can get, despite the fact that they only link two monsters. And any crawler monsters pointing to this can't be destroyed by battle as well. Uh, we're also playing two copies of X Crawler Synapsis, so this one requires two Earth Monsters, which obviously goes back to Scapegoat, it is a viable target. Uh, points to the left and right, and uh, again, any crawlers pointing to it uh, can't be destroyed by battle, so if you have a Neurogos and Synapsis out uh, pointing to each other, they can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, all crawlers pointing to it also gain uh, 300 attack and defense and can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. So again, more attacks meaning just more damage. And again, just like the other two, if it leaves the field by battle or by uh, card effect or anything, uh, special summon two crawlers from your graveyard with different names in face down defense. For the rest of your extra deck, it's up to you what you want to play. I play Underclock Taker, I play Borogar Dragon, I play uh, Subterra Behemoth Fiendus, uh, allowing you to send more flip monsters to your graveyard. 
uh, we're playing two copies of Mrs. Radiant because they're viable Earth targets. All your crawlers are Earth type. Uh, we're playing a Trigate Wizard. Uh, we're playing Topologic Gumbler Dragon. Actually, a really good card. It doesn't matter if you actually discard your cards. If you can discard your opponent's cards, they lose out a lot more than you do. And of course, we're playing two. Pro uh, we're playing a Proxy Dragon as well. So. Uh, that pretty much ends off the rest of the deck here, and uh, yeah, this is something I've been playing for a while now. I haven't had to make any particular changes to this, uh, because it's worked so well for me. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys actually think of this, tell me what you guys actually play in your decks. Um, but in the meantime, hope you guys have a great day, I'll see you next time.